Lighting on sprites in Friday Night Funkin'. It's hard, especially if you don't own Adobe Animate and can't just edit each individual part like how I imagine Adobe Animate works. If you try editing the lighting directly from the sprite sheet, it feels like there isn't really a clear light source. It also ends up airbrushing the line art which looks kinda weird on Friday Night Funkin' sprites. As much as I love the hex mod, these early sprite edits look kinda weird for the reasons I've just described. Right now, I'm finishing up an edit of the Hex Weekend mod with redone lighting, glow effects, and backgrounds. In this video, I'll go over how to edit stronger lighting from the sprite sheet itself, and also how to do stronger glow effects. Now first, we'll do an edit of Boyfriend. This technique won't work well if the sprite is directly touching the edge, so we should increase the canvas size. Make sure to write down the original canvas size somewhere, maybe send it to a friend. Next, make a copy of the line art. In Paint.net, you can select all pixels of a similar color by holding shift while selecting with the magic wand. Copy it and put it on another layer. Next, make another layer and use the paint bucket tool to fill in every transparent pixel in the image. Hold shift as you click to select every transparent pixel. You may also mess with the threshold to make sure it really gets all the pixels you want. Now you can move everything to Metabang. Have the colored layer that fills in the transparent bit clip into the main sprites. Name it Base Lighting Stuff. You'll copy and use this layer several times. Next, make a layer of a cooler color, for example, purple, and set the blend mode to multiply. Have it clip into the sprites. Edit the opacity until it's the color you like. Next, copy the base lighting layer and put it back into paint.net. Motion blur it in the direction you want the light to go. Since I want the light to come from the top left and go down into the right, I'll point the line down and to the right. Make sure to uncheck the centered box. Blur it around 40 or 50 and you should be good to go. Now move this layer back to Metabang and have it clip in. Set the layer's blend mode to add and mess with the opacity. If you want to change the color of the lighting, check the Protect Alpha box, select the color you'd like, and use the Fill tool to change the color of the blurred layer. Now do the same thing, but instead of blurring around 40 or 50, do it to around like 15 or 25. Put it back in Metabang, set the blend mode to add, and so on and so on. For some solid highlights, make another copy of the Base Lighting Stuff layer. Set the layer blend mode to add, then move it in the direction the light is going. Since it's coming from the top left, I'll move it down and to the right a little, and color it something really really light, maybe even white. These solid highlights do add a lot, you could probably get away with just using these. If you want to tint the whole thing a bit more, you could use an overlay layer of the color you'd like. If these bright pixels are bothering you, on the very edge of the line art, make a copy of the base lighting stuff layer, turn it black, and you'll probably have to copy it a few times, then export it as a full-size transparent PNG. Make sure to change the canvas size back to the original once you're done. Glow effects are a bit easier. Select the parts you want to glow. In this case, we'll do it for whatever's inside of Hex's monitor. Copy it and move it to another layer. Set the layer to add. Copy it again. Color this layer white. Go back to the colored layer and blur it. Feel free to copy it and mess around with the opacity. Then go to the white layer, blur it very very little, only one or two, and then copy it and mess with the opacity. Boom. A decent glow effect. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I used all these techniques for an edit of the Hex mod. A link to the video should be on screen if the video's out by now. If it isn't, you should probably like and subscribe so that you know when I release the edit. Thank you for watching and have a terrible life.